Yeah, so the, the MRI and X-ray came back all right. I mean, he's got a hyperextension, like a slight ligament sprain. No live activity in practice. You know, he's getting better every day. He's had two good days of uh, therapy with, uh, or rehab, whatever you want to call it, with Clark. But I will just evaluate day to day. Uh, highly unlikely for tomorrow, though. I, unless there's a miraculous recovery overnight, I don't think he's playing tomorrow. I think we've asked you this earlier in the year, but it's kind of timely now. Just have you ever been a part of a team with this many injuries no, before? It's been rough. I mean, and really, our seems like a lot of them happen in the same. You know, Rojas and Juwan, same position. Herb, same position as those two. Now, you know, Petty goes out. Like it's those big wing kind of three, four types that just can't seem to get healthy, which really you need more of those probably than anything. They're the most flexible guys. So, yeah, it's been tough. We've practiced. We've had to figure out how to play with two bigs a little bit more, which we haven't typically liked to do, but may have to do it, probably will have to do it. Essentially, Herb's playing like a big right now without he's playing anyway. So, But, no, I haven't had this many injuries. And shoot, I think it's my 23rd year coaching uh, ever. So. We just gotta fight through it, play with who we got, and figure out how to get a win with who we've got. I'm pretty sure most, at least the ones during the season, especially like Beagle, were, they're all seemingly on effort plays, got, you know, kind of the blue collar plays you're trying to. How, how do you kind of teach the effort? And I mean, you don't ever kind of anticipate injuries, but try to teach proper. Yeah, how I do mean, you work that? You look at Herbs in game, first game, I mean, great block. Really good. Tell a guy not to make a great chase down block like that. I mean, LeBron makes them. It's just an effort play. You know, Beetle, I don't care what you tell Beetle. He's, <laughs> Beetle's going to play how Beetle plays. I mean, he's a kamikaze pilot out there running around. It's kind of how he's gotten to where he's gotten. I mean, he's undersized. If he wasn't as tough as he was, he would never be playing high major Division one basketball. So, you know, we've tried to tell Beetle, you know, let's be smart with where you're throwing your body into. But Beetle does what Beetle does. And then Petty's. You know, going for a loose ball, like, what do you want guys not to dive on the floor for loose balls? You know, that same game, Beetle dives on the floor for loose ball, we end up getting a three-point play off the turnover save, getting on the floor for loose ball. So you want to make winning plays, but, you know, you know, if guys don't play that hard, they're probably not going to be any good anyways. So, you know, I played football. Talk about it in football. If you're not going 100%, you're more likely to get hurt. Just, we're going to play hard. We're going to. You know, we typically don't have these injuries, and I think we've got maybe the best trainer, if not the best, one of the best in the all business, all the entire business of college basketball. He's going to get them back. We're, you know, in the spring, summer, we'll get everybody back healthy, and hopefully, have a lot better go of it next year with the injuries. Jaden's had a decent amount of offensive rebounds in the last uh, five games. That's something that you've seen in his game and just his ability to get forward. Yeah, he's really good at Mississippi State. I thought he's made some really tough effort plays. I think he's trying to make more of those winning plays, tough plays. And, you know, we need him too. I mean, shoot, when you put Kyra, Beetle, and Jack on the floor together, all of a sudden Jack's now the three. So, you know, we kind of need him to go get some rebounds like Petty had been doing. You know, Petty was playing a lot of three, four, so now. Shaq was playing a lot of three that game with how well Beetle played. And then obviously Kyra doesn't come off the floor much. So it's been good to see him do that and hopefully he can continue to do it because we need him too. Also, just staying on him too, he hasn't been turning the ball over at all, uh, I think it's the last two games. Um, yeah, Shaq's been playing his best basketball of the year, I think, uh, here recently, which is what you want. You want your guys playing their best basketball come the end of February, March. So I think he's made great improvements. We've been on him about defense, effort, that type of stuff. He's really answered the bell. He wants to be coach, wants to get better. And then the turnovers, I think he's gotten a lot smarter with that. You know, he's offensively, his game's been playing, he's been playing at a really high level that way. What's the feeling uh, among you know, the, the locker room that the team right now, after kind of a tough, not just losing Petty, but also compiling kind of a tough loss on the road, knowing the quad one and you needed that. What's the feeling in the last Yeah, year? I mean, I think our guys have come around quite a bit. I mean, I, I think their mentality is pretty good. Like at this stage, let's control what we can control. Just come out and get a win. You know, get another win, get another, just every game, let's give our best effort every time we're out and see where it takes us. You know, I, 
know, if we can rattle off three wins here, we've got three winnable games in front of us. We'd finish 10 and eight in the league. Two, two teams finished 10 and eight in the league last year. One was a five seed, one was an eight seed in the NCAA tournament. So our, with our strength of schedule and everything we've got going, I, I should I think if we finish 10 and eight, I think we'd be in, to be honest with you. So I think, you know, we couldn't lose in the first round of the SEC tournament. We'd probably have to at least win one up there. But so I don't think hoping the season that way is and even, and even if it was, like I, we've talked to our guys about, like we're just playing to get better every game. Well, no matter where we end up playing in March, let's make sure we're playing our best basketball with whoever's on the floor at that time of the year. And, and I think that's where their mentality's at. They had a good, really good practice this morning when we went. Sure it was left off the uh, short list for the defensive player of the year. A lot of the players spoke up, spoke out about it on social media. So did Bruce Pearl. Uh, would you have anything to say about him being left off that list? Yeah, I mean, anybody that watches college basketball knows he's one of the ten best defensive players in college basketball. I think that's anybody that's done their research would know that. The one thing I'd say is, if we'd have won more games and he had been healthier and played more, it maybe would have helped. But I mean, if you're watching what he's doing right now with a cast on his left wrist, like I think it's a little bit embarrassing to the college national college basketball writers, whoever's compiling that list that he's not on there. So, I mean, we 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 all know. And, and look, I think it's great. Bruce Pearl spoke out. I mean, I think coaches in this league respect him. I think we ought to look out for each other in the SEC. I mean, there's big rivals. Shoot, that's supposed to be our biggest rivalry, Auburn. I think it's great that you know, even though you get big rivalry, there's still a lot of mutual respect between them. I. Got a lot of respect for how hard their team plays and their, their players play, and I would hope I'd do the same thing if, if you know, the roles were reversed there. Just another Obviously. question, Coach. Obviously, tomorrow you can't just tell one guy, well, you know, John's not going to play. Go get 16 more points for us. Yeah. How, how do you handle this offense? Yeah, I, it's actually a great question. I think Shaq's been playing really well, but he's been scoring pretty well. Kyra's going to have to have a great game. I think the one maybe. Well, there's two guys in there, kind of X factors that we'd like to, to continue. Beetle's been really good in the first halves. I think maybe you know with the fact he missed so much of the year, he might get worn down in the second half. We need Beetle to be really good for the full game. And then I think Alex Reese is the other guy that's going to have to step it up for us. I mean, Reese is more than capable. He showed he's capable of making shots. If if Reese plays well along with those three guards in the scoring column, we'll be all right. You know, like. Our bigs are rebounding, giving us what they can. And each of those guys, you know, Javian and Galen are capable of scoring double digits, but I'm not going to ask them to go score a bunch. I think Reese and Beetle are the two that are going to have to give us a little bit of a lift tomorrow. Uh, I think we have one more on here. And you mentioned Kyra. Obviously, he had the big game, the scoring game, but it, it seemed like he came in, in short bunches. You know, I, I went off for like eight or nine early and then. You know, second half he had to kind of come through. But do you need more consistency a little bit from him, maybe throughout the game to kind of see that? Yeah, I mean, basically where we're at right now, if, if Kyra's not being aggressive and playing well on offense, we struggle on offense. So there's a lot on his plate. I think he's done an unbelievable job with as much pressure as on him to produce. I mean, you look at look at our you know our losses. Now, this is the state we didn't have Penn. It's, it's a little bit different, but the Texas A&M game. He didn't particularly play great. He wasn't aggressive. The press kind of bothered him a little bit. You know, we lost. So when, when he's playing well, we're winning. And I don't, I don't even think it's – he doesn't have to go score 37 or 30. Or he's just got to be aggressive and make plays. So he he can get some of our shooters. Like Alex Reese needs Kyra to go draw two and kick to him. So Kyra just got to be aggressive the whole game. Whether it's – I don't really care if he goes in scoring droughts. I mean, he may go – 10 minutes without scoring, but he may get four or five assists in that 10 minutes. So he's just got to stay aggressive for the whole 40. And I, and I always tell him, just be aggressive. The defense will dictate to you whether you're going to score or get assists. So just be aggressive for the whole game. If he is, I think we'll be all right on the offensive end. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. Okay. Appreciate it.